Okay, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone this evening and call our meeting to order at this time. If everyone would please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, would everyone please stand and join me in our Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Board members, we're down now to approving the agenda. We do have one addition to the agenda tonight, and I'm going to make a motion to amend the agenda by adding action item I, and that is to approve a change order number one to Muhlenberg County Middle School cafeteria renovation. Make the motion. A second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of adding action item I to the agenda, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. Are there any other additions to the agenda tonight? If not, I need a motion to approve the amended agenda. So move. Motion by Mr. Bowers. Second. Second by Ms. Bard. All in favor of approving the amended agenda, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. Now we'll move down to recognitions. Ms. Embry. Well, good evening, board members and you guests out there. I'd like to start by recognizing our 23-24 retirees who provided over 730 years of service in education. Those retirees by name are Darrell Suttle, Sharon Kramer, Donita Schink, Steve Williams, Ted David Everly, Kimberly Garrett, Jennifer Wright, Troy Stovall, Patrick Durow, Angie Johnson, Jennifer Lewis, LaDonna Ray, Dana Francis, Tracy Burris, Tracy Jamison, Kimberly White, Beth Travis, Jenny Jenkins, Chrissy Davis, Donna Kirtley, Sue Stovall, Kimberly Devine, Deborah Crick, Patricia Perkins, David Coyne, Rita Casebeer, Karen Kirkpatrick, Tony Harper, Lisa Vanover, and James Steve Crow. We want to say congratulations again to those retirees. And now I'd like to draw your attention to the accomplishments of a special group of students for their recent achievement at the state level. The Muhlenberg County High School Bass Team recently won the state tournament for the sixth year under the leadership of Mr. Cody Napier. Spencer Shimwell and Isaiah Smith won the 2024 KYSAA Bass Fishing State Championship on Kentucky Lake with a two-day total weight of 40 pounds and two ounces. There was a total of 91 boats, and these two gentlemen broke the two-day total record for the state championship by over a pound. Dylan Eubanks and Chase Rickard finished seventh place with a total two-day weight of 27 pounds and 14 ounces. Chase Rickard won the big fish, which weighed in at 5 pounds and 14 ounces. And then on the co-ed side, Gabby Hayward, go girls, and Alexis Latham came in second place on the girls' KHSAA Bass Fishing State Championship with 14 pounds and 13 ounces. I'd like to honor each of these students tonight with a certificate of recognition. So as I call your name, would you please come forward on the stage to receive your certificate and allow me to take your picture? Ms. Orr, would you like to come over and stand over here? I think I got some initials wrong. K-H-S-A-A, okay, yep. 
All right, we're going to start with Spencer Shimwell. Spencer is a recent graduate of MCHS. Isaiah Smith. He is a recent graduate of MCHS. Thank you. Mr. Shimwell, if you'll hold up, I'm going to do a group picture too. After. An upcoming senior, Dylan Eubanks. Another upcoming senior, Chase Rickard. <clears throat> and then an upcoming junior, Gabby Hayward. And an upcoming junior, Alexis Latham. Congratulations. Again, just congratulations to these students and to Mr. Cody Napier for an outstanding season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, at this time we will move down now to our treasurer's report, Mr. Blitzinger. Tonight, I bring you the financials as of June 30th, 2024. Uh, the beginning balance was at about 40.4 million. That's down $945,000 from the last month. Uh, monthly receipts are at 3.7 million, which are up 267,000 from last month and, 80, and down 88,000 from the same period last year. Uh, of significance, federal was up $260,000, $68,000. State was up 196000 Taxes were down 271000 Other is down 202000 Food service was down ninety eight, and daycare was down six. And I, or I did not advance it. That's my fault. So, expenses. Uh, the accounts payable for the... The month of June was 1.5 million. Uh, this is up approximately 212,000 when compared to the same period last year. This was mainly in general fund and construction. And the significant bills in June were Bluegrass International Trucks for $257,860, School Specialty at $177,326, Timberland Passage uh, $157,745, and Technical Training Aids at $114,907. Payroll was $4.8 million, which is down $97,000 versus June of 23 for total expenses of $6.3 million. A further breakdown of the accounts payable, uh, other fixed mix expenses was were about $865,000, variable expenses of $538,000, and utilities were $114,000. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> the ledger balance at the end of the month was about three thirty seven point eight million, the bank balance of twenty eight million, outstanding checks of one point three million, and cash of twenty six point seven. A further breakdown of that uh, shows that the general fund is 20, 23263 million, and that is down uh, 1.695 million from the previous month. Uh, special revenue was is down 626,000. Uh, construction was was reduced by 150, 153,736, and food service is down about 120,000. The extended financial picture through November of 2024. Uh, we expect to have about 28.71 million through November of 2024. Are there any questions? Any questions on the treasurer's report? If not, I need a motion to approve. Motion. Motion by Mr. Johar. Second. Second by Mr. Bowers. All in favor of approving the treasurer's report, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. We'll move down now to payment of bills and salaries. Well, thank you, Chairman Rager. Board members, this month I bring to you $593,166.44, uh, 400000 of that was general fund. Uh, utilities expense, about 74000 Fixed and mixed expenses were 379000 and variable expenses of $140,000. Uh, significant bills were performance flooring for 64416 Old National Wealth Management of 55000 uh, Roberts Insurance of 54000 and New Tech Systems of 53646 $53,646. Any questions? Any question on um, bills and salaries? If not, I need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Have a motion by Ms. Bard. Second. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of approving payment of bills and salaries, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move down now to public participation, and we don't have any. Okay. Thank you. And we'll move down now to um, our administrative report. Um, superintendent report, the personnel actions have been given to the board and those will be placed into our minutes. Um, the superintendent, we don't have a presentation tonight, but just can we get just an update on how the middle school move and longest elementary move? Does anybody have any updates on that for us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you come back. I know there's just a lot of talk out there, so we just kind of want to update everybody how everything's going to this point. I don't have my cheat sheet with no, me. No, it's okay. Okay. Um, so I'll just kind of start with the longest, which uh, tonight I'm bringing you all the teardown uh, package. Once that is complete, uh, they will be able to start uh, the construction within longest, like North Middle becoming longest within longest, uh, with the priority of finishing those classrooms, uh, the kindergarten and first grade classrooms. Uh, first, and then they will start working on the preschool area and, and building that, that front area. Um, the playground has uh, the, the, the playground for the rear of the building, which is for the fifth grade and for like fourth and fifth grade. That has been ordered. It should be here mid August, and or excuse me, August 8th is what, I'm, is what the date is. Uh, that will get that should be installed prior to school starting. <clears throat> Uh, I did apply for a grant for the front playgrounds that is matching funds, so that should uh, it's a hundred percent match, so it should reduce the cost by fifty percent. So that'll be good for those. Um, in terms of let's see, at the middle school, I know there's something I'm missing on the longest, but I, and I apologize. But in the middle school, we have the cafeteria going right now. The uh, stage has been torn out. The concrete has been poured back where that that was. The stage was. Um, the change order that I'm bringing you tonight is they're gonna they want to finish that first before they start laying the floor. They're starting to do some the brick on the front wall for that uh, to where they can get that capped and and put back on. Now the only thing that we're gonna be that is gonna be held up is the the railing, because we're ordering the same kind of railing, and it's a lead time issue 
and for that, but they, they suspect that to be within the first month of school. So it's just the, the cable railing that's around the outside. Um, they, the lockers that have been ordered, they should start tearing them out tomorrow, is, is my understanding. They're, they're coming tomorrow. Then they're being shipped on the 21st of July. And as soon as they're torn out, they're going to start uh, putting the new lockers back in. The field house that is uh, scheduled, that is, uh, I'm, push, I'm pushing to get that bid out as quickly as possible so we can get that started. Um, and let's see, what else am I missing? I can't think of anything else right now. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, the roof, the roofing for both this school and uh, the middle school, the main portions of the building, they are, they're starting out at the middle school to get that done. Uh, and then they'll come over here. Once they get done with the middle school, they're going to work on starting doing the paving of the parking lot. And then that's about it. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? No. Thank you for your update. Thank you. And then we'll move down now to our attendance and enrollment report. And since we're out of school, we don't have a report to give on that. And then we'll move down now to our board action items. And item A is the first reading of policy 03.125 and 03.225 expense reimbursement. Thank you. This is the first reading for the policy uh, 3.125 and 3.225 for the uh, expense reimbursement for uh, travel. Uh, the Finance and Administration Cabinet uh, put out a new meal reimbursement rate for the state. Um, and it, it's a reimbursement in uh, for the non-high rate areas of, of $50, and I believe it's $54. For the, or I'm sorry, 60 for the high rate areas. The state also puts out a a map, not a map, but a a, a grid showing which states uh, have high rate areas. So that would be where it would apply. Um, so this would actually help on the inflation that people are seeing. So I mean, a lot of times, I know people that'll save their reimbursement for one meal. So. I think this will help our employees out. Questions? Don, I make a motion to approve. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of approving the first reading of the policy, please say aye. Okay. Aye. aye. All opposed? I hear none. And item B is reading of procedure 03.125 AP.21 out of district travel request form. Thank you, Chairman Rager, board members. This is the corresponding uh, procedure or form that is for filling out for the <coughs> expense reimbursement for the request form. Any questions? I need a motion to approve. Motion, motion by Mr. Johar. Second by Ms. Bard. All in favor of reading of procedure 03.125 AP.21, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. And we'll move down now to item C, and that is to award bid for demolition package for Longest Elementary School. Uh, thank you, Chairman Rager, again. Uh, last Tuesday, we had a bid opening that no one arrived at, so uh, we extended that to today. Uh, and the there were three bids that came in. Uh, there were, it's Green Green City Demolition, Henson Construction, which is actually the, the company that is doing the cafeteria at the middle school, and Dory and Associates. Um, Green City Demolition came in at the lowest at seven hundred ninety one thousand. Uh, Henson Construction came in at about uh, about one point five seven five million, and Dory and Associates came in at approximately a little over a million. And so I'd like to recommend that Green City Demolition be the oh, be awarded the bid at seven hundred ninety-one thousand. Any 
questions? I'll make a motion to recommend Green City demolition for the package at Longus Elementary School. Second. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of awarding the bid to Green City Demolition, please say aye. 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 When are they starting this? Uh, they'll have to, the company is going to have, they have to submit a, an asbestos form to the state and then 10 days, at, they have to, 10 days after that is when they can start tearing things down. So they've been instructed to turn that in tomorrow. Item D is to consider approving the MOA with Western Kentucky University. Mr. Lau. Mr. Board members, this is the MOA with Western Kentucky University with our dual credit. We've approved the Madisonville Community College, I think it was last month, and this is our Western Kentucky University for the 24-25 school year. And I recommend that the uh, County School Board approve the MOA between Madisonville, I'm sorry, not Madisonville, Western Kentucky University and the Muhlenberg County Schools. Make a motion to approve. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of considering approving the MOA with Western Kentucky University, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. We'll move down now to item E, and that is to consider a second reading of Board Policy 01.45. This is the update to Board Policy 01.45. It is the second reading. Uh, we had the first reading last month. The proposed policy cha change is attached, and I recommend that the Board consider updating Board Policy 01.45 and accept the proposed change as written. Are there any questions? If not, I need a motion to consider. I'll make a motion. I have a motion by Ms. Bard. Second. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of considering the second reading of Board Policy 01.45, please say aye. Huh? Aye. aye. Uh. All opposed? I hear none. And we'll move down to item F, and that is to consider a second reading of KSBA Board Policy Update Number 47. This is, again, our yearly KSBA board policy update, this being number 47. This is the second reading. We approved the first one last month. All updates to board policies are either required by state law or our recommendations by KSBA. Uh, you have those. I will make a note like I did last month, policy 09.2242. Uh, the board has selected to choose option one. And we shared that last month, but I wanted to mention that again. And I recommend that the board consider this as the second reading of KSBA board policy update number 47. Any questions? I need a motion to consider. Okay. A motion by Mr. Johar. Second. Second by Ms. Wells. All in favor of considering the second reading of KSBA board policy update number 47, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. And Chairman Rager, on that, I'll need signatures, so we'll get those after the board meeting. Okay, that's fine. Um, item G, and that is to consider approving 24-25 student fees. In accordance with board policy 09.15, all student fees must be approved by the Board of Education. You have all of the student fees for each school listed and provided to you. Uh, I recommend the Community County School Board approve the student fee request for each school for the 24-25 school year. Questions on the school fees or student fees? Mm -mm. If not, I need a motion to consider approval. Make a motion. I have a motion by Ms. Bard. Second. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor consider considering approving the 24 25 student fees, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. 
And we'll move down now to item H, and that is to consider first reading of board policy 09.427. This is a requested update to board policy 09.427. You have the proposed policy change uh, that is attached. Basically, we are taking our old policy and we are adopting what the high school currently has uh, as our board policy. So I recommend that the board consider updating board policy 09.427 and accept the proposed change as written. Is there any discussion? I have a motion by Mr. Johar. Second. Second by Mr. Bowers. All in favor of considering the first reading of board policy 09.427, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none. And we'll move down now to our additional item, um, item I, and that is to approve the change order number one for Muhlenberg County Middle School cafeteria renovation. Thank you, Chairman Rager, board members. Uh, the state inspector came and was looking at our uh, sprinkler system and noted some voids in the sprinkler spray area. So they offered two solutions. The second one uh, is to pull the bulkheads out that are currently there and, and put the sprinklers in there and it'll open the, the cafeteria up a little bit more. And that's the one we'd like to recommend. So it'll add the sprinklers, remove the bulkheads, and then also um, with the demo, the labor, and also the the additional sprinkler heads that will need to be put in at a cost at a cost of sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty. Are there any questions? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Second by Mr. Johar. All in favor of approving the change order number one to the Muhlenberg County Middle School cafeteria re renovation, please say aye. 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 Uh. All opposed? I hear none. We'll move down now to our board consent agenda items, and these are the approval of the minutes of the prior board meeting, surplus old technology items, surplus and disposal of longest elementary items, Surplus and disposal of Muhlenberg South Elementary School items. Surplus and disposal of Muhlenberg County Middle School items. Consider fundraising requests, facilities use, and consider field trip requests. You all have had a chance to review that in your packets. We have a motion by Mr. Johar to approve. Second by Ms. Bard. All in favor of approving the board consent agenda items, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? I hear none. And we'll move down now to adjournment. Need a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Okay. Have a motion by Mr. Bowers. <laughs> and second by Ms. Bard. All in favor of adjourning, please say aye. 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 All opposed? I hear none and we are adjourned. Thank you.